Consider the following 1983 IMO problem number 6 and here is a view of this problem. Uh, ABC are the lengths of the sides of a triangle and we would like to prove uh, this uh, inequality. Uh, without loss of generality, uh, like we did in an earlier problem, and I believe in IMO 1978 and 1975 as well, and, and even 1964, let's C be less than or equal to B less than or equal to A without loss of generality. Well, can I say that? Well, we can usually say that if the expression is symmetric, and it seems symmetric here, um, so... And so with this assumption, uh, we had an earlier claim, I think in 1964, uh, IMO question, uh, we had the, a similar claim. Let me restate this claim and we, let's prove it one more time quickly. So I claim that if, the, uh, if A is the largest of the three sides followed by B and C, then the claim is that A times uh, B plus uh, C minus A is less than or equal to B times uh, a plus C minus B, which is further less than or equal to C times um, A plus B minus C. And the proof is straightforward. So um, you can just prove any one of the two inequalities and the other one will just follow directly. This time, let's just prove the second one, if you will. So if and only if, let's just show that this middle one is great, less than or equal to the second one. So we have, well, we expand it. So A, B plus bc minus b squared we need to show this is less than or equal to ac plus bc minus c squared and further we can just move uh, terms around let's move everything to the right hand side so therefore we would get uh, before we move we just realize yeah bc is cancelled so we have zero is less than or equal to b squared minus c squared minus ab plus ac and this is just b minus c times b plus c minus, uh, we, we still have, for instance, b minus c, and we can factor out the a. Um, yes. So therefore, this is if and only if, so we have 0 is less than or equal to, so the b minus c term, we can factor it out. Luckily, it is greater than or equal to 0 because b is greater than c. And we have B plus C minus A. And obviously, uh, this is uh, greater than or equal to zero. Well, this, I claim, is definitely greater than or equal to zero by the triangle inequality. Well, remember, ABC were the sides of a triangle, after all. So this is true by the... So therefore, we have just proven that this thing is greater than or equal to zero, which means this is correct, this is true, and this is a true statement as well. So we have just proven our claim. Now we can go ahead and apply what we call as the rearrangement, uh, rearrangement inequality. We, we are going to apply this inequality with the following t two sequences. Uh, namely, um, well, this is one of the sequences, obviously. So let's write that down. So A times B plus C minus A is uh, less than or equal to B times A plus C minus B, less than or equal to C times A plus B minus C. So we have this increasing sequence. And we also would like to use the following uh, sequence because A is greater or equal to B, which is greater or equal to C. At the same time, 1 over a would be less than or equal to 1 over b, which is less than or equal to 1 over c. Just as a direct uh, uh, implication of this uh, early uh, assumption. And now we can go ahead and apply rearrangement inequality. So remember, the rearrangement inequality would say if you have two sequences ordered just the way we have it, uh, we can just multiply the smallest terms in the two sequences, namely this term and this term. And then we can further multiply, add the product of these two terms and finally add the product of these two terms that would be greater than or equal to any uh, permutation of one of the sequences for instance i'll permute this one so back to business so therefore uh, so therefore by the rearrangement inequality one over a times a uh, b plus c minus a plus uh, one over b times b uh, a plus c minus b plus 1 over c times c, uh, a plus b minus c, is 
greater than or equal to okay so we need to shuffle um um okay so let's start with one over c this time one over c if it doesn't work we will further shuffle times a uh, b plus c minus a notice i didn't change the terms of the second sequence all i'm doing is shuffling the terms of the uh, of this sequence uh plus let me go ahead and try this one one over a uh one over a times uh times b uh a plus c minus b and finally there's only one over b left uh, sorry for that one over b times uh, c uh, a plus b minus c awesome so uh it's obvious that the one over a and a cancels here the same thing here the same thing here we have b plus c minus a a plus c minus b a plus b minus c if you add them we realize we have plus b here minus b they cancel and then there's still a plus b left minus a and plus a cancel there's an a left and finally the plus c and the minus c cancels and there's a c left so that would imply a plus b plus c that's what is left on the left hand side that's it now on the right hand side we see expressions with uh, different um, denominators so therefore uh, we might want to uh, try to uh, simplify these uh, expressions uh, and hopefully get a nice uh, result um, we can break away the C here, the B, the A, I should say, and then the B here. Yes. Okay, so let's do that. So therefore, we will have, we will break away those. So we have, first, let's expand the A over these two. So we, or, or let's just skip it. Um, it doesn't matter. Well, it, it kind of matters. Eventually, we want this expression. Okay, okay, okay. So let's do it. So we have A uh, times uh, B minus A. All divided by C and remember we decided to break away a C over C but this which is just an a plus and then we'll do the same thing here B times uh, a minus sorry B times C minus B B times C minus B over a and then break away the the, the a term here so therefore we will be left with a B okay I don't want to mix up my expressions and finally uh, plus if you will uh, we will break away this b here so we will have c times a minus c uh, all divided by b and then this b is breaking away so cb over b is just a c okay so this is pretty cool because well um, these terms just cancel so the a's cancel the b's cancel and the c's cancel so on the left hand side we are just left with a zero obviously uh justification for these type of problems it requires a lot of experience that's all i can say i guess to be honest um oh so our direction is totally in the wrong direction look at that uh we wanted to show the other direction which will means we will probably move them to the other side yeah and then multiply finally by a b c probably I would guess okay so actually let's do that um, or let's first um, yeah let's move all these remaining expressions to the left hand side so therefore we would get zero is less than or equal so it's akin to multiplying by minus one basically uh, a times a minus b over c plus b times b minus c over a plus uh, c times c minus a over b and um, and and finally we can multiply by abc which is a positive number so zero is less than or equal to after multiplying with abc both sides of the equation the c's will cancel it's as if we are multiplying by ab only so we have a square b a minus b plus here we will have just b square c b minus c and finally a square um, ac square ac square uh, c minus a and let's cross the fingers to make sure we have the same expression a square b a minus b b square c b minus c a square b a minus b b square c b minus c and a c square c minus a a c square c minus a yes and we have just shown that this is greater than or equal to zero notice that uh, so like i said so in terms of justification or motivation if you will um i would recommend solving as many problems as possible so you, you, your intuition 
starts building up and keeps building and building. So each new day you should attempt at least a few Olympiad problems and that would uh, significantly uh, improve your skills. And so the, you will start building up analogies with uh, previous problems that you have already solved in the past. And this is arguably the best way to uh, to improve in Olympiad math. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video and looking forward to see you guys in our next rearrangement problem. <laughs> All right, see you guys.